Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again and welcome to another video here today. In this video, I'm going to be going through the recent survey that just came out, I think today, at least I first saw it today. It was, uh, it showed up in-game when I logged in. There was a link in the chat box that said, you know, there's this survey out for, I think it was how you receive news or something like that from the game. So, um, yeah, I figured I would do a video on this. I made a video when I did the um, the yearly survey, the annual one that they send out. So I figured you could do a little video on this. I'm not sure like if everybody got this link or how exactly it works because I'm looking on the homepage right now and I don't see it posted anywhere here. There's no news post about the survey or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'm definitely interested to see if you guys could let me know in the comments if you also got this survey in your chat box or what, but as you can see, apparently it's not very long. They say seven to eight minutes and um, three random players who complete this survey will be getting a six month RuneScape membership. So that's kind of an incentive, I guess. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go through it here. I don't really know what to expect. I haven't looked at it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the survey right now. How old am I? I am unfortunately in the next upper age bracket. I recently turned 25. Um, I identify with male. What kind of player? I play mostly RuneScape and some old school, although none, no old school at all recently, but I've definitely played it a bit and have several accounts on there. Um, roughly how many hours? Do you play, I'd say over 40 a week for sure. How many accounts do I have? Okay, so does it does an old school account and an RS3 account that are the same username count as one or two? I don't know. Um, well, I have at, I have my, I have three hardcore Iron Man, two on RS3 and one on old school, as well as my main account, which is four um, and then I have like my main account on old school and on RS3, so I don't know. I guess I'll go with four because that makes the most sense to me since one account should probably be one no matter if it's on both games or not. Um, when did you first start playing? Um, I think I started playing 2008 to 2010, although I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it might have actually been, actually I think it was before that, yeah. Yeah, I believe it was in 2006, late 2006, maybe 2007-ish. I don't remember 100%, uh, was kind of a while ago. And I was just doing random stuff on Miniclip, I believe, and I discovered this game. But uh, there we go, have I heard of, yes, I have absolutely heard of archeology, span I'm very excited for it. When did I first hear about it? Um, I mean, I guess officially, I, what do they mean? Did I first hear about it? Like it's always been kind of a rumor or it's been a rumor for a while that this could be a skill. Um, and I think there was like that leak in September. I think it was in September. I definitely had heard of it before RuneFest. So I'm just gonna pick September because it was definitely before RuneFest that I'd first heard about the possibility of it or like that it was highly likely to be the skill. So I'm gonna put that. Um, where have you heard about archaeology? Official Dragix channels. Um, I actually don't watch any RS3 YouTubers. Um, so I haven't really heard about it on YouTube, I guess. But, I mean, I've talked about it on YouTube. I've heard about it in Discord. I don't use Facebook or Instagram or really the forums or email. Obviously, I've heard about it on Reddit. I've talked to people about it, heard about it in-game. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of RuneScape ads. Um, what's the difference between content creator and YouTube and Twitch? Who knows? I don't, I don't know. But, um, well, actually I have watched some of the RuneScape official channels YouTube videos on it, so I will put that. So I guess that kind of distinguishes the difference because RuneScape YouTube channel isn't exactly a content creator. Um, so I'm not going to check off anything else I don't think. Um, other, I, I have no idea what that could be, to be honest. I mean, I did hear about the uh, actual reveal on Twitch, so I could put that, but I feel like that's being a little specific. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at this. I think that's good for me. You said you've heard about archeology span from an official Jagex source. Which sources was it slash were they? Okay, I did, obviously I heard about it on the Twitch stream. Heard about it on YouTube videos. I've seen it on their Twitter. I've seen it on subreddit. 
Um, I'm not in their Discord. Um, I've also seen on JMod Twitters and Reddit accounts, and I think that's it. Yeah, seems good to me. When, where did you first hear about archaeology? Um, I mean, what what does word of mouth even mean? Like talking, does that mean talking to people IRL about it? Because I definitely haven't done that. Um, I'm gonna say I think it was on Reddit that I saw that that like there was like a picture from a Discord where someone said archaeology was the skill and was like revealing a bunch of stuff that ha they had also talked about Anachronia, I think in the past and what was going to be on there. And they were right about some of that. So I think it was like a screenshot of a discord, but I saw it on Reddit if I remember right. So I'll put that for that. More generally, where do you primarily get your news regarding upcoming RuneScape events and releases? So I usually on Reddit and Twitter and uh, from Jagex. I don't really get news about upcoming. Well, I do watch their uh, their streams on YouTube, but occasionally, never really watch their streams live because I'm it's during my my work. Um, I guess I see some stuff in game. Okay, so word of mouth can mean clan mates and friends and stuff. Although I usually know about it before hearing from other people personally, um, and I don't really learn about it on Discord at all. So I think that's good. On a scale of one to five, how much do you agree about the following statements? I'm well informed. I think I am definitely well informed about what it's going to entail. I'm not too well informed about when it's coming out, but you know, that uh, remains to be seen. I definitely am excited for it 100%, and I, I definitely think I understand it as well. So I, I guess I strongly agree with all that. Um, I think I'm kind of in a, di a different position than a normal player because I make all these videos. I, you know, make a point to be informed about these types of things so I can talk about them in videos and stuff like that. But still, I'll go ahead and put that. Which of the following features of the archaeology skill were you aware of before this survey? I was aware of that. I was aware of that. Yep, I knew that from RuneFest. Yep, they, they most of, I think all this stuff they said at RuneFest. Summoning has the... Uh, the ancient summoning pouches or whatever, and there's the new invention gizmos that have like biting four in them and stuff. Obviously it's coming with new items and each of the dig sites will have its own lore. So I already knew all of that stuff. Which of the following features coming with the our release of archeology span are you aware of? All of this. Yep, yep, elite skilling outfit from the skill itself. Achievements, yep, new cape, obviously it's a skill, new pet. Um, yep, they said there's going to be a collection log for each dig site, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I do remember them talking that they're trying, going to try and centralize all the collection logs. So there's not like, you know, the POF collection log, which you have to, you know, have a separate thing for the treasure trail log is a separate. And then the, you know, the slayer and boss logs are in an interface. So I think they're going to try and centralize them all to be within interfaces, which will be good. So knew about all that as well. How many dig sites are you aware of that come with the release of the skill? I think there's five. Could be wrong on that. Now, if I am wrong, I'm still gonna put five, but now I wanna look it up. So sorry if you can hear typing. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's see, dig site one, two, yeah, there's more than five. I, I, I only said five, I guess. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So is there one of these that isn't, because there, there are seven listed here on the RuneScape wiki, but one of them says it's not coming out until after the skill has already been out for a little bit. So, hmm. Well, I'm gonna put five, because I thought that that's what it was, because I thought it was at least five in my head. And then I, coming here, it seems like there might be six that are coming with the release of skill. They have the Varrock dig site, which maybe doesn't count because it's the tutorial, probably. I think that the Veriktik site already exists. So yeah, and then there's five new ones. So I think I was right on that, but yeah, that's that's what I thought. Uh, which features interest you the most? I like the dig sites. I actually am interested in the lore, especially of the God Wars is pretty cool. The relics seem awesome and so, well, Honestly, the ancient summoning doesn't sound super exciting, so I'm not going to actually put that. Um, they said that there's going to be new achievements per dig site that are like going to be specific to the site, which I think sounds really cool. Um, the new cape, I mean, whatever, really. That doesn't make a huge difference to me. Um, same with the new pet. I don't really use that stuff. 
these two definitely i love having collection logs for stuff that's my whole hardcore iron man series and then the qol updates for collection logs in general sound good so i'm the most interested in all of those a couple that i'm not as excited about but we'll still definitely like to check out have you provided feedback on any of our updates in the last 12 months <laughs> definitely pretty much every single one which of the following platforms have you used to provide feedback i have done it on i've made a couple posts on reddit mainly youtube of course um and that's about it i don't really post a whole lot anywhere else i mean i have a twitter but i don't really tweet myself a whole lot mainly because i don't have any followers really but i don't have a whole lot to tweet about either um i did obviously take the annual survey and i've talked about updates in game and on discord so i guess well what do they mean provide feedback to who i guess is a question but Either way, I think all of these kind of still apply because there's no way you're going to be providing feedback to Jagex directly in game, really. So I think it's fine to put that. And uh, yeah, those are those are all the ones that I have done personally. Do you have any other comments about the quality of communications to you? Um, be more clear about when things are getting released, like. I don't know how else to put it really, but like, you know, archaeology got delayed, of course, but like, could we have a bit of a better timeline of how long it's delayed? So we're not like, ooh, maybe it's this month. Ooh, maybe it's next month. I don't know. Just like be more clear with that. Like coming in January. Okay. It's been delayed two months. So maybe it's coming in, I guess it's coming in March or it's been delayed till April. Like just give us at least a target. And then if it gets delayed again, give us a new target. I mean, don't just leave us sitting here not knowing. Would you like to opt in? I mean, why would you not want to win free membership? Excuse me? Uh, sure, go ahead and follow up question me if you'd like. And I would love to have future surveys, make some cool videos. And my RSN, I'm going to put my hardcore Iron Man on there because that's the account I'm on the most right now. And there we go. That is the RuneScape engagement survey filled out. So. Yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little survey filling out. Let me know if you guys got this survey as well in your chat box when you logged in. And if you filled it out, what were your thoughts on the various questions and how did you answer specifically? What are you looking forward to the most with the archaeology skill? I thought that was an interesting bit that they put on there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys this weekend for Hardcore Iron Man Progress. It's going to be a crazy video, so make sure you don't miss it.